Hello, I'm Raul Reyes, retired United States Air Force Lieutenant Colonel, candidate for Congressional District 23, and a very proud Trump Republican. I want to share a few thoughts with you about my opponent and his close ties to LULAC. For those of you who know LULAC and what it stands for, all I need to tell you is that Tony Gonzalez has close ties with LULAC. For those of you who need a little bit more detail, well, here you go. First, LULAC, the League of United American Citizens, claims to be a nonpartisan group committed to helping Latinos. But if you check the scorecards they give to Congress, you'll see liberal Democrats receiving scores of 90 and above, while conservatives receive scores of 20 and below. That's because LULAC supports open borders, DACA amnesty, ending deportations, universal health care for all, including illegal immigrants, and other globalist policies of the liberal left. LULAC has strayed away from its origins and jumped on the socialist bandwagon led by Nancy Pelosi, Chuck Schumer, Adam Schiff, AOC, and many other radicals. Remember, Nancy Pelosi has targeted Texas for their liberal takeover and Gina Jones is her hand-picked AOC 2.0. Second, Mr. Gonzalez's mother not only belongs to LULAC, she actively recruits for LULAC. You can watch her disturbing sales pitch in this clip. She also praises LULAC for inviting Michelle Obama to speak at a LULAC luncheon. Folks, the fruit does not fall far from the tree. And we have seen this relationship before. Yes, that's La Raza Unida's very own Rose Castro and the Castro brothers. We have seen their attempts to destroy America. This is the critical point and why I'm sounding the alarm. You know where the Castro's brothers stand, and they're not claimed to be conservative Republican folks, not like Tony Gonzalez. Finally, LULAC was one of the first to call President Trump a racist for establishing a travel ban to combat the COVID-19 pandemic. Not only has the travel ban saved many American lives, Trump's leadership fortified other countries to take similar action. Heck, even New Zealand's liberal government recognized the wisdom of this move and has nearly avoided COVID-19 infections by implementing a complete travel ban. LULAC continues to hide behind their nonprofit status. But this is the real question. Why would someone who claims to be pro-Trump spend so much time with LULAC? Tell me who your friends are and I'll tell you who you are. LULAC and Tony Gonzalez are not fooling me and I hope they're not fooling you. Gonzalez is a wolf in sheep's clothing. He is masquerading as a conservative while donating money from his foundation to LULAC in, in support of their dangerous socialist policies that threaten our national security. If you want a real Trump supporter, folks, who will look you in the eye, who values the same conservative ideals, and will work to bring security and prosperity to District 23, then I ask for your vote. The runoff election is July 14th with early voting, 6 to 10 July. God bless you. God bless Texas, and God bless the USA.